Now, many of us, when the Bible talk and we are presented with something we want to do, now we're challenged. Yeah. Your love for God and your love for sin is challenged. Amen. Oh, especially when money come involved. That's right. Some people go to hell for money. That's right. They know they're making money wrong, but because they love for it. Love That's why the Bible speaks plain. That's right. The love of money the is the root, root, meaning it's the source of all evil. Of how much? All evil. You better read that, son. Give me the book of Timothy. First Timothy chapter 6, and we're at verse 9. Follow me, Houston. First Timothy chapter 6, and we're starting at the ninth verse. Glory to God. But they that will be rich. Uh oh. Amen. Now, this particular scripture is not for everybody. No. It's only for rich folk. <laughs> That's right. You hear that? Oh, yeah, it's only for rich people. That's right. The Bible speaks plain. But they that will be rich. What happened? Fall into temptation. I have people write me and say, Pastor Jennings, what do you think about preachers who drive Rolls Royce and Bentleys? Mm -hmm. Well, long as the people in the church don't buy it. Right. If you got a job and that's what you want to drive, that's your business. That's right. You work and earn your money lawfully. Mm -hmm. You can drive a horse if you want. <laughs> Amen. And put some uh, rims on his hoofs. <laughs> if that's what you want. That's right. But they that if will the, be rich. The members of the church should not, yeah, buy no preacher. Go Cars, ahead. houses, right. suit, none of that. That's right. I work. You ought to work. I uh, see so me and my wife send our children to school when they was there. Send yours to school. I don't need the church to send my children to school. Right. If the church can afford to send mine to school, then the church can afford to send yours to school. That's right. I'm an independent working preacher. That's right. That's why we can kill you like we can. Amen. What is that? But they that will be rich. They that will be rich. Fall into temptation. Wait a minute. What happened to rich folk? Fall into temptation. What happened to rich folk? Fall into temptation. Uh -huh. You know, there's a lot of people. Yeah. Was saved, baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Had the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues, seeking the Lord. Mm -hmm. Until money came in their life. That's right. They was faithful offering givers and tithe pairs and every type of building project for the work of God. They contribute to it. But my Lord, <laughs> all of a sudden, guy came in contact with some money. Yeah. They don't hardly come to church now. Mm -hmm. They arrive by the church. That's right. Now they think they got too good for God. That's right. <clears throat> like these multimillionaire mega preachers. They don't preach this kind of preaching. No, no way. Because they're not going to preach nothing that's going to hurt your wallet. That's right. My job as a messenger of God is to prepare you to meet God, not prepare you to get rich. Amen. You want to get rich and learn how to make money? Go to college. Mm -hmm. You want to get saved? Come here. That's right. That's what I'm talking. That's right. What is true prosperity? It is not your house. No. It is not your car. It is not your wardrobe. True prosperity is the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of who God is. That's right. I don't care how rich. I know rich people. I know rich people. I know millionaires. Some of them watch the telecast. NBA players come to First Church. Uh, NFL players come by the church. Soccer players come by the church. Uh, baseball players come by the church. Some of them came and got baptized. Amen. That don't impress me. <laughs> no. I don't care who you are. That's right. Amen. Once in a while, uh, me and Bernard Hart, uh, me and Bernard Hopkins. Once in a while, uh, time go by, we we'll get a chance to talk. He, one of the former, I believe, middle or uh, heavyweight boxers. Yeah. His wife and him love the program. Watch it. Glory to God. He said, you know what? He said, I'm a Muslim. He said, but my God, Pastor Jennings, you tell it like it is. He said, I love it when you throw that hook. <laughs> Amen. I'm not impressed with nobody in the world. No. This is the way I look at creation. Mm -hmm. When a rich man die and a poor man die, neither one of you have God. Now, here's a rich man. He's buried maybe in a vault. Yeah. Big as this room. Poor man, he's buried, throws in a pit. Yeah. But neither one have God. Who's better than the other? Nobody. 
That's right. The Bible said, how do the wise man die? Just as the fool. As the fool. Listen at this in the book of Amos. Back in Amos chapter 5 and at verse 10. What is it? Or at verse 18. And Amos 5 verse 18. What? Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? <coughs> what you going to get out of it, Houston? Mm. What end? Houston, cigar suckers, pipe suckers, vape suckers. Yeah. <laughs> homosexuals. Amen. Uh-huh. Amen. I know I got some Texas longhorn homosexuals down here. <laughs> Amen. Amen. What you going to get out the coming of the Lord? What end is it for you? What, what end is it for you? You that got your second wives and second husbands. That's right. When the Lord come and you standing at that altar mm. or signing those divorce papers and the Lord appear. The Lord. What end is it for you? What end is it for you? You white bigot and you black bigot. That's right. What is your end That's when right. the Lord appear? That's right. When you're yelling white power, you white folk ain't got no power. Amen. You black folk ain't got none either. That's right. The only power that be is that which is ordained of God. Amen. Eh? Amen. The Bible said, let every soul right. be subject to the highest power. That's right. That's the thing I want to bring to you. That's the it. power in the Lord Jesus Christ. That's right. Come on, son. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. Uh -huh. to, to what end is it for you? When the Lord come, you shaking your hips at your Texas club. What end? What end is it for you? Same club that many of you used to go to. And the same club that some of you was just at Friday night. <laughs> Amen. Uh-huh. Amen. You heard I was coming in town and you want to get your last dance on. <laughs> That's right. You want to get your last dance on. Yes, and they're shaking your hips and your fake hair and shift to the left. And that fella's too paid and went another way. And his, mat, his, his, his half eyebrows arch and her fake eyelashes dangling you like a fool. That's right. You only got the breath in your nostrils, Miss Woman. Amen. You thank you, God's gift to every man out here. Mr. Man, you thank you, every gift to every woman out here. Mm. Both of you are a living fool. You only got the breath in your nostrils. That's right. When God snatched the breath out of your body, your body will drop dead on that dance floor. Go ahead. And God is going to call you in judgment. That's right. Yeah. Woe unto you. Hallelujah. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. That desire the day of the Lord. The day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? What you gonna get out of it? Amen. That's something to think of, isn't it? Oh yeah. What you gonna get out of it? You better go back to where we were, son. Mm -hmm. Back at First Timothy chapter six, and at verse ten. Follow me. First Timothy chapter six, and at verse ten. All right. Or at verse nine. All right. But they that will be rich. Fall into temptation and a snare. And to many what? And into many foolish and hurtful lusts. It's not a sin to be rich. That's if God make you rich. It was God that made Solomon rich. That's right. The sin is when the riches have you. That's right. I wish I was rich so I can set up churches like you're planting corn. <laughs> Every city I go to, I wouldn't leave without setting up a church. That's right. I don't like renting. Amen. The folks that own the property, we may make them upset with the gospel. Yeah. And then all of a sudden they say, well, you can't come in here no more. <laughs> then I'm going to have to have church outside of your place. That's right. <laughs> Block the door. <laughs> Amen. I don't have men that own facilities and say we can use their facilities to baptize. Mm -hmm. And then they got mad at us for what we stood for. Yeah. Lock the doors of the church. Yeah. Lock the doors of the building. Mm -hmm. That's why I prefer having our own. Yeah. We can stay in there all night if we want to and preach the gospel. Amen. Don't care if nobody don't like it. That's right. They that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare. So some of us may pray that, pray that God would make us rich. Some of us pray that prayer, but can you handle the wealth? Yeah. Let's look at the little bit of money you have now. See, can you handle that? Right. See, do you get beside yourself when you get in your car and shine it up? <laughs> See how right. long you stand in the window and look at the thing. Yeah. All you did was shine it and buff it and detail it. See, can you walk by your window without? <laughs> Am I right, I said? That's right. That's right. See, are you that materialistic? Amen. Amen. See, do the material things of life take you over? Yeah. Until it got, that's what happened to churches. Yep. Materialism. 
<coughs> materialism has became the message in the forefront mm -hmm. of practically all churches. Amen. These dumb preachers trying to convince us that your heaven is right here. This ain't no heaven. No way. If my heaven is just a car, a house, a suit of clothing, ain't no heaven. No. There got to be something better than this life. They that trust in their wealth. Do you hear what David says? In the book of Psalms 49 and at verse 6. Psalms 49 and 6 says. They that trust in their wealth. They that trust in their wealth. And boast themselves. And brag. In the multitude of their riches. And the multitude of their riches. None of them can by any means redeem his brother. Do you hear this? Amen. Sometime I two brothers love each other blood brothers two sisters yep. very close family oh, yeah. until somebody one of the parents died that's right mother died father died now everybody fighting over a house that's right won't even speak to each other now over a car give chapter and verse for guest again psalms 49 and we're at verse 6 argue over a car argue over a house argue over a bank account yeah. the bank account only have a hundred dollars in it <laughs> Two brothers won't speak. Two sisters won't speak. That's true. Two twins won't speak. That's right. Argue over land. Amen. I want everybody in the world to understand. Amen. The whole earth gonna pass away. Yeah. And everything in it. Everything in it. Your bank account, out of all the work God is blessing us to do all around the world, building churches, buying buildings, converting them into churches, and everything. everything. But God going to burn everything up. That's right. Your house, your bank account, That's your clothing, right. your car, burn it in your brain. Go ahead. Nigga, you came here. Amen. That's the way you going out. That's right. And there's no need for you to get caught up in anything in this life other than God himself. That's right. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? They that trust in their will. The Bible says, choose ye this day. This day. This day. Whom you going to serve? Yeah. If God be God, serve him. serve him. If Baal or the devil be God, serve him. Serve him. You choose Houston. Mm -hmm. You choose between your boyfriend and God. That's right. Choose between your girlfriend and God. Mm -hmm. Choose between that job where you're making six and seven and eight figures a year and God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some of us was doing pretty good. Until that money, as I said, came in our life, money. we rolled our salvation right out the window. That's right. What did the Holy Ghost say here? They that trust in their they wealth. They that trust in their wealth. And boast themselves in the <coughs> multitude of their riches. None of them can by any means redeem his brother, uh -huh. nor give to God a ransom for him. Wait a minute. They can't give God a ransom for him? Nor give to God a ransom for One him. One thing about your money, it can't get you out the grave. No. Amen. When I came up, I remember in the 70s, I was in the barber shop reading Jet Magazine, waiting for my time for my father to cut my hair. And there was, I remember when a Cadillac Seville came out. And there was a fellow that died and they took a casket and customized it. It looked like the Cadillac Seville, white wall tires and everything. Had a steering wheel in the coffin. Had him with a three piece suit on, a broken down brim, gloves, propped up in the casket. With his hands on the steering wheel. Oh. Ain't no driving in the grave. No. <laughs> if everybody realized yeah. your date of arrival, you did not know. That's true. And your date of departure, don't you know. don't know. Don't know. So between you being born and between you leaving here, what plans are you making to meet your Lord? Amen. Let's look at the life they're living. You're partying. Mm -hmm. Many of you partying, many of you gambling, many of you got a bar in your house. Oh, yeah. ah. Got your jack with Daniels. <laughs> got your whiskey. Yeah. Took a few drinks last night and you're here today. True. Some of you gonna go back home and take a few more drinks and come back tonight. <laughs> mm -hmm. Amen. What are you doing to making plans to meet God? You ain't going to live forever and ever right here. No. Like the lion Jehovah Witnesses told you. That's right. Heaven and earth 
God, the earth ain't going to burn up. <laughs> if I got any Jehovah Witness here, I'd take the word of God and burn you up this afternoon with it. That's right. I mean, I'd make you lick up every lie you ever told. That's right. This earth, this earth will not stay here. But the day of the Lord will come. Do you hear the Bible talking? In 2 Peter chapter 3 and at verse 10. Keep going to people's doors with your comic book interrupting their breakfast. Amen. When you see the Jehovah Witness knock on your door, give them the George Jefferson treatment. Just slam it. <laughs> you gonna knock on my door and tell me there is no hell? My Lord. You mean to tell me you gonna interrupt me? Listen, if there was no hell, I would not be in Houston. No. Did you hear what I said? That's right. I said, I said, <laughs> if there was no hell, right. I wouldn't be in Houston. No, right. no. Preach to who? Amen. Preach for what? For. That's right. My God, man, I find me a place. And where you going, Gino? There's no hell. <laughs> hmm? Because if there's no hell, there's no consequences. That's right. And if there's no consequences, mm. you're free. Free. To do whatever you want, and you never have to pay a price. That's right. Am I right, I said? Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The word of God says what? But, the, Peter. but, but the day of the Lord. Give chapter and verse. Second Peter chapter 3, and we're at verse 10. The day of the Lord. Will come. It's coming. You can be as hard head. Young man hanging on the street with your pants hanging down, showing your drawers like a bum. That's right. A real man don't advertise his drawers. No. A real man don't advertise his behind. That's right. If you're a real man, why are you trying so hard to get other men to look at your behind? <laughs> Amen. Am I right? I Amen. Amen. Eh? A real man don't do that. That's right. The day of the Lord will come. Hallelujah to God. Amen. It will come. As a thief in the night. <clears throat> no thief. Call somebody and say, hey, you, uh, this the Brown residence? Yeah, look, I'm three doors down from you. I'll be coming in your window by 830. If you hear some noise, don't worry about it. Just me robbing you out of everything. A thief don't do that. No. A thief breaking your house if you were in the shower. That's right. He catches you off guard. That's right. Think of it. The day of the Lord is like a thief that comes. Mm -hmm. Now, nobody is prepared for the arrival of a thief. No. So imagine when the Lord comes and you just lit a match to light your cigarette. Mm. And the Lord said, cleanse yourself from all filthiness of the flesh. Yeah. Imagine when the Lord come and you, brother, have just decided to be a homosexual. My Lord. Amen. You just put on your male thong like a loose fool. Amen. <laughs> and here when the Lord appear up in the heavens, all that noise outside, you don't know what's going on and you run into your window. What is that? What is that? And then when he run outside, there's God. Uh oh, his voice going to change. Uh oh. <laughs> hey! That's right. <laughs> Slapped him right back to his manhood. That's right. right back, I said. Amen. Glory to God. <laughs> Woman, I don't care how cute you think you are. Listen, I don't care if you got more curves than Route 85, 95, 495, Route 1, all the hills in Texas. Amen. When you die, the worm's going to cover your corpse like anybody else. That's right. You can walk the street with your hot pants and wear out hair half naked, yeah. but you're going to meet your God. Oh, yeah. And when God snatched the breath out of your body and you end up in the morgue and that undertaker cut your body open oh. and remove your organ and sew you back up, your time have expired. That's right. And the only thing that you can show God when you was living is tattoos all over your body, a bunch of babies by every neighborhood dog that walked the street, and you never gave God a drop of time. That's right. Talk back to me. That's right. 
But the Holy Ghost said, But the day of the Lord the will. Of, hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. The day of the Lord will come. It's coming, I said. That's right. Will come. Uh, you only got a little bit time to be cute. You only got a little bit time to be handsome. You only got a little bit time to party and Amen. gamble and act like a fool. Know the way it was in Noah's day. That's right. They didn't pay Noah no mind. Oh, no. But even though they didn't pay Noah no mind, they didn't stop the rain from coming. That's right. You know, I, I, I wish it was a way that God can take me back. I would love to see the facial expressions mm. upon the people oh. after God closed the door of the ark. That's right. And then the rain was bursting from heaven. Oh, yeah. And all the rivers and streams and lakes and everything began to just rise up. Can you imagine the people hammering and banging on the ark? Pleading with Noah. That's right. The ark represent the church. Yeah. The flood was the judgment of God. Mm -hmm. It is written as it was in Noah's day. Yeah. So shall it be when the Son of Man comes. Come. Our young brothers and sisters are dying, seem like quicker than the old folk. That's right. Mothers and fathers are getting tired, walking their children to the cemetery, burying them. Yeah. It should be the children burying fathers and mothers, but it is parents because daughters are too hard head to listen. Sons is too self-righteous and stubborn to listen. You want to be in the bloods. You want to be in the crypts. You want to be a gangster disciple. You want to walk around and drive by and shoot somebody daughter, shoot somebody mother. Shoot somebody, father, gang bang and carjack, and then end up in jail and turn to a whore. That's right. Talk back to me. That's right. Amen. And this is why they say he don't preach with love. You call it what you want. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? That's right. What is it? But the day of the Lord will come. The day of the Lord will do what? Will come. It's coming. It's coming. Will come. And I'm traveling around the world with God's help, sick and well. That's true. Trying to wake people up. That's right. Houston, I'm glad that you woke up. Yeah. Amen. And God willing, like I said last night, God be our helper. We're going to get on down in Dallas. Mm -hmm. Wake Dallas up. Yeah. Amen. <coughs> I also want to get in San Antonio, San Antonio, Texas. Yeah. Wake San Antonio, Texas up. Mm -hmm. I would like to get in Galveston, Texas. Wake them up down there. Mm -hmm. In other words, I want the whole state of Texas. That's right. Because the entire state is going to stand before God. That's right. Eh? Amen. Everybody going to stand before God. That's right. Hey Amen. You're going to find that your color won't impress God at all. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're going to get the shock of your life. Oh, your yeah. money won't impress God. That's your right. looks won't impress God. Mm -hmm. Your status in this earth will not impress God. Mm -hmm. Who's more richer than him? That's right. Who's more higher than him? Yeah. Who is more important than him? Yeah. Who is greater than him? Amen. When we come to the reality that we are nothing but dust and we have a creator to answer to, whether we believe it or not, whether we stubborn or humble, whether we're obedient or disobedient, that don't change nothing. No. It doesn't change the reality. Everybody will stand before God. That's right. What did he say, son? But the day of the Lord will come, will come as a thief in the night. What happened? In the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Uh -huh. The earth also. And the works that are therein shall be burned up. What's going to happen to the earth? The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. You might as well enjoy our house while we got it. Yeah. Drive your car while you have it. That's right. Because when the Lord gets through, he's going to burn it up. Burn it up. Amen. I was looking at the news. I was supposed to go to Malawi and Mozambique to the churches down there. God done changed all that plan. Mm. God sent a cyclone down there about two weeks ago and practically demolished Malawi oh. and demolished Mozambique. My Lord. Waters and boulders. I've seen boulders that waters them pushed I don't know how many tons. Houses just washed away, killed I don't know how many people. Mm. Whether you're rich or poor, bond or free, 
No rich person got enough money where they can buy life. That's right. That's why I'm pleading with the rich. You need God. Oh, yeah. No, no, maybe so about it. You need God. You don't need Scientology. You no. need God. Charge them that are rich. Do you hear what the Bible told me to do in 2 Timothy? In the book of 1 Timothy, First chapter Timothy, 6. 1 Timothy, chapter 6. And at verse 17. God says, charge them. That are rich in this world. That are rich where? In this world. That are rich where? In this world. God told me to charge you that charge. are rich in this world how not to be. That they be not high-minded. Don't be so arrogant. Amen. Don't be so high-minded. Right. Don't be so self-willed. Right. Don't be so self-righteous. Yeah. Don't be so devilish proud. Charge them. Hey? Charge them. Charge them. That are rich in this world. Come on, you can go on now and get your makeup sprayed on you. Put the graffiti on your face. That's right. Huh? That's right. And when I came up there, put makeup on, they put a little bit there, but now they got a spray up. Yep. You know, like, spray. You know, like, you, like you paint a car. Amen. Yeah, man, they spray it on now. <laughs> spray it on. Put all that graffiti on your face. What's wrong with the way God made you, sister? That's right. What's wrong with the skin God gave you? Mm. What's wrong with the eyebrows and the lips God gave you and the eyelashes? Yeah. Why you need horse hair to replace your eyelashes? Amen. Why you need skunk hair to replace the hair God gave you? Grandma, right. grandma. I said grandma. <laughs> That's right. Here you 85 years old. Hair is beautiful white and silver. Yeah. But you cover that beautiful silver hair up and put on an Indian wig. <laughs> and here your hair now got a jet black Indian wig with silver eyebrows. That's right. 87 years old with a mini skirt on. My Lord. Ankle chain. Mm. Red fingernails and red toenails. Yeah. The mothers should be teaching these young women. That's right. And you young women that want to make babies, but yet you don't want to be a mother to the babies that you made. That's right. That's right.